Hello, welcome to the special edition of Comic Conversation. I'm Dominic Zappa, and today we're going to do something different. I'm going to interview Mr. Sayers on issue six. How are you doing today, Mr. Sayers? I'm doing great, thank you. Oh, good. Um, so, what exactly is issue six? Well, issue six is a five year renewal levy that will be on the ballot May 2nd. And most importantly, it will not increase taxes. Oh, won't? Okay, that's great. So why exactly does the community of Amherst need this levy? Well, this uh, renewal levy is an important component to our long-term financial stability. This levy provides $2.6 million a year, uh, which is needed for day-to-day uh, -day operating expenses. Okay, so for the me you mentioned like, the day-to-day -day operating expenses. Uh, how much exactly like, will it cost? Uh, actually, the really good news, it will not increase taxes at all. Uh, this is a levy that was originally passed five years ago. Uh, so essentially what we're asking our uh, residents to do is to continue paying uh, what they've been paying for the last five years. And again, looking to renew this levy for an additional uh, five years. All right, and um, could you go into detail about how exactly the money would be used? Well, this uh, levy, as I mentioned, provides uh, $2.6 million, which is a lot of money, and this provides uh, needed revenue, which supports uh, educational opportunities that we provide for our students, uh, provides support not just for our curricular program, uh, but also our extracurricular program as well. Okay, um, so you probably don't want to think about this, but how would we be affected if issue six were not to pass? You're right, Dominic, and it's one of those things we try not to think about uh, because it's it's kind of depressing. Uh, but obviously, if we were to lose uh, $2.6 million out of our budget, uh, we would have to make significant reductions. Um, we've worked so hard to uh, upgrade our educational offerings uh, for our students K-12, and if we were to lose $2.6 million, we would have to look at uh, reductions in, in areas like all day, every day kindergarten. We'd have to look at uh, reducing or eliminating some of our elective uh, programs, uh, some of our fine arts programs. And, uh, you know, those are things that you were trying not to think mm -hmm. about. Um, but again, $2.6 million is, is a lot of money, and uh, we, we need that revenue to continue mm -hmm. uh, the momentum that we've been able to build over these last four or five years. Oh, okay. And, um, so I obviously don't have children in the district. Um, I'm only 18. I'm still in high school. So why exactly of someone like of my age, why does this issue matter to me? Well, I think it's important to all of our uh, Amherst residents and everybody that's a resident of the Amherst School District. Uh, as I mentioned, it's the kind of the last critical piece uh, to putting the district on a path of uh, financial stability. It will keep us financially stable through at least uh, 2021. It will allow our schools to remain strong, uh, our community uh, to remain strong. It will keep property values strong. And the really neat thing is our property taxes uh, will remain um, one of the lowest uh, in Lorain County currently, where you have the third lowest property tax level of any district in Lorain County, and it would allow us to continue um, that low rate of property taxes. All right, that's, that's, uh, that's great. And then, um, how exactly has the district saved money? Well, we've worked hard over the last several years to, to reduce costs and to manage our budget. And uh, we, we've been able to do that through, uh, you know, a variety of, of different strategies. Uh, first and foremost, we've consolidated buildings and services. Uh, we've reduced staffing levels that have matched our declining enrollment. Um, we've become a part of an insurance consortium, which has allow us, uh, allowed us to reduce costs as well. And uh, there are several other examples, uh, but those are some of the key ones. <laughs> um, Anything else you want like to add? No, I just wanted to kind of reemphasize uh, the importance of this renewal levy uh, to the again the long term financial stability of our school district, and it will allow us to continue the momentum that we've built over the last several years. And most importantly, it will not increase taxes. <laughs> yeah, that that's great. Um, that, that's all I have. Thank you for being here today. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate the opportunity. Right, I'll, no problem. And if you have any questions, feel free to call or email Mr. Sayers at the board office. Thanks, and have a great day.